I'm an illustrator. I want to be a perfume maker. It's a startup my own fitness center or gym. A brain biologist. A Lego designer. Help people reach their nutrition goals. <laughs> a dentist. A YouTuber. Every generation wonders if our children will be worse off financially than our own. Some think they will. The reality is, we cannot, with certainty, predict the future, but we do have the ability to plan for it. Mrs. Keneally has been a great uh, supplement to my entrepreneurship class. She has brought real world problems to the classroom, breaking the traditional setting and helping the kids think outside the box. For me, it was the first time I learned in a school setting about financial literacy, about the things that make things, that how to make a business work. I love the fact that we're building financially literate um, individuals who will understand how to balance their own checkbook, will understand how money works through the community, and understand how businesses are built, succeed, and fail. Determined to make this generation as successful as their parents, the Board of Directors of Junior Achievement are planning a future that will impact 50,000 young people annually by the year 2020, more than doubling its current participation. While this is an ambitious goal, it's also a necessary one. And to achieve it, we must dramatically increase our classroom volunteers and funding while capitalizing on current strengths and the things we do well. I've learned that money how money goes around to different places. Well, we work together to problem solve and come up with cool ideas to ha on how to start our own establishments. The economic issues affecting our children have never been greater, and achieving our mission has never been more critical. Working together through Junior Achievement, let's plan a future for our children with the same opportunities for success as those enjoyed by previous generations. I think that this for second grade gives them a broad overview of what money is and that it is an actual item that you have to earn. They present some, some uh, real life activities that are kind of missing from our regular curriculum. They usually talk about things close to home like banks and, and uh, grocery stores and things like that that relate right to our community here in Queensbury. I guess each kid may take something different from this, but number one is I just like the idea that maybe somebody's inspired enough to pursue a business, an interest in business, or create a business, and that's really part of the whole idea. Yeah.